Hello. This is Benjamin. Welcome back for another IoT video. Today we will be talking about blockchain. Yay, buzzword. Um, well, actually, we won't be using the blockchain. We will be using the Tango. That is, um, we will be using IOTA to showcase how uh, distributed ledger technologies can be used for IOT. IoT. And more specifically, uh, we will be thinking about uh, two people, Jane and uh, John. And you can look at my blog post to know who those are. But basically, Jane has um, a smart plug, right? And um, she wants to monetize the fact that basically she's collecting lots of, of data in uh, her house for all the data, all, all the, the equipment that's being connected to them, to, to, to the plugs. And that might be valuable to people, right? To have access to um, to very accurate um, power consumption metrics, and people might be willing to pay for that. Uh, data scientists, uh, insurance companies, and I mean, you name it, right? Uh, there's lots of things that can be uh, done with um, with um, IoT data. So what Jane will be doing is that uh, the data coming from the smart plug will will be published. Uh, uh, through MQTT to um, to a broker, to an Eclipse Mosquito broker, um, and anyone can consume the data, right? Only um, what we want to do is that people will need um, to, to pay for accessing the um, the live telemetry data, right? If you have, um, if you are um, unauthenticated, uh, you will get access to the moving average across um, for, for the last minute, basically, of, of, um, of power consumption. If you want to uh, access the live data, uh, the deal is you have to pay Jane uh, 500 IOTAs per hour, which is basically a couple of cents. Uh, one IOTA is, is really um, a very small amount of money. Um, very, very small, actually. One million IOTA is, I think, about $5 as of uh, today. So how do we extend Mosquito to provide um, the uh, kind of uh, access control that we've uh, just um, talked about? Well, let's see. Uh, so let's start Mosquito. And this is Mosquito running with uh, the um, uh, authentication plugin uh, from uh, Champi Mints, Mints uh, sorry. And this plugin basically allows you to provide uh, um, an authentication backend is in the form of MySQL uh, database, MongoDB database, and well, today we're going to use MongoDB. So our backend has currently no user um, in there. So let's create two users. Uh, there we go. Two users. Uh, we have John. John is the guy who will basically be paying Jane to access her data. And currently, John only has access to um, the moving average that I described earlier. And um, when it comes to like maybe troubleshooting what's happening, we will be able to leverage the, the super user. And maybe through that, we can quickly check that everything works fine before putting um, IOTA in the picture. So what do we want to do now is uh, well, we can certainly connect to um, to the broker already as a super user. Oops, one more, uh, one additional click. That wasn't necessary. Let's subscribe to uh, all topics. Nothing much um, is happening. Uh, let's see if we start our... Um, I don't remember if I said that. I think I did. My power tool is attached to a Wemo, a Belkin Wemo plug. And that's how we're going to like, get actually pretty accurate power consumption. Let's just launch our script. There we go. Um, MQTT spy shows us that we have some uh, power consumption. Let's see our ready average live. What do we get? Uh, let's look at the chart. Show payload for browse topics. There we go. Uh, you figured it out. Red is the, um, the average um, consumption over the last minute. Uh, yellow is uh, the live stream. So if I were um, a data, uh, data scientist like John might uh, might actually be, um, I'm so interested in getting access to the yellow um, uh, topic, right? So let's see what 
does uh, John have access to? Logging in as John, subscribing to everything that the broker wants me and lets me access. Oh, that's too bad. We only have access to the um, yeah. The, that's the consolidated um, average. So yeah, I mean this is an average, right? So what we want to do now is uh, launch some uh, script in the background, and that's where uh, all the magic happens. That's where we interact and we use the IOTA API to interact with the IOTA network and interact with the Tangle, basically to figure out what transactions have been issued and what payments as well, if you will, have been sent to a particular address. That's um, XBXMC blah 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 is an address that's associated with, um, with Jane's IOTA wallet. And basically when uh, uh, there is 500 IOTA sent maybe more sent to this address. Maybe it means that um, this script needs to, to grant access to, um, to someone, right? So let's, let's look at um, what it means for us. Um, like how, how can we actually pay? Let's, let's use the Android wallet. So this is John's wallet, right? So I have uh, a bit less than 10,000 IOTAs in there, which is, if you remember correctly, nothing essentially money-wise, but that's that's actually the point. Uh, we can do um, microtransactions, um, but maybe it's just, yeah, worth one. Um, it's just worth one uh, one cent, uh, one penny to, to access uh, uh, Jane's data for one hour. So issuing a transfer, what is, well, we want to send 500. IOTAs uh, to Jane or to Jane's bot, whatever. Uh, looking at what I have in the clipboard here. There we go. I certainly don't want to, to type the address myself. And what's the message we're going to put? Um, the message is actually the representation of um, it's encoded with trites. That's what um, that's what's stored on the Tangle eventually. And that's a JSON string of uh, the, the username of, of John Doe. So let's send the transaction, right? So am I sure to send the transfer? I am. And now what's happening in the background is that my phone is performing the so-called um, proof of work, which is basically validating some randomly selected transaction on the Tangle um, and checking that they are valid and that they are not uh, double spans. And Basically, by validating two other transactions, uh, uh, it allows me, uh, it allows my transaction to, to be pushed uh, in, in the network, and maybe eventually someone will find my transaction and, and validate it as well. So, um, proof of work is still ongoing, and as soon as uh, this is done, what, what will happen is that my script will detect the transaction on the network. Uh, for the sake of the demo, we don't wait for the transaction to effectively be, be uh, fully validated. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just for the sake of the demo. Uh, there we go. Actually, my phone just vibrated. 60 transactions in total. Um, 60 people have sent data to, um, to Jane. And now, well, basically, there is a valid transaction that was issued only a minute ago. And what does it mean if we go back? Um, if we go back here, we see that we have access to the live uh, sensor data, and more specifically, if I were to refresh the chart, the chart, there we go. That's my average, and that is my live stream. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, just um, just to double confirm. Uh, this is my um, my JSON uh, document for the, the, the user um, in the backend. Uh, just before I hit um, uh, command R, basically, and before I, I refresh my query, let's just refresh the query real quick. And there we go. That's what my script has put here, right? Um, by means of um, the script that's running, running here in the background, as soon as we see a transaction, um, and money sent to 
um, to change address, we uh, if this is legit, we we grant people access to to the um, to the data. So I hope that um, uh, makes you realize how easy it is. Well, on one hand, to extend Mosquito to provide um, very flexible and very extensible as well. Um, access control mechanisms and I hope that also makes you realize that beyond the hype uh, the blockchain and everything cryptocurrencies and everything distributed ledgers um, actually makes sense for for actual scenarios um, I can easily imagine people selling uh, data coming from their weather stations or from um, other kind of like um, physical inputs uh, uh, in their house or in th their environment and, and use um, uh, distributed ledgers to, to monetize this. Um, check out the blog post as well. Uh, there's um, other cool stuff that, that you certainly can think about when, when it comes to, to blockchain. And with that, I hope that if you have any questions, any feedback, any comments, uh, you will be using the comments um, on the video to, to, to reach out. Uh, the code is on GitHub, so the link will be there as well. Like I said, there's a blog post that you may want to read with more details. And with that, um, I'll see you in 2018. Enjoy uh, your holiday. And it was uh, my, my pleasure again to, to share some, some great IoT content with, with you all. Bye.